पे It's raining again. As soon as I figured out the right settings for my router and I started working, it started raining. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. It's been raining on and off all morning and last night Cody decided he wanted to start on our deck just out of the blue. So when we woke up this morning we had full intentions of working on it but the weather had a different idea. I've been cooking a lot over the past couple days and I have a ton of scraps so let's collect all of these and take them out to the composter. Last night, Cody got the sudden urge to build a deck and start working on this entire decking and stair process. So, Summer kept complaining that the stairs weren't wide enough to get I in the house, falling. which they weren't wide enough. They were the exact, oh, okay. <laughs> they were the exact size of the doors, so they definitely needed to get bigger. So, I started to make bigger stairs, then I was like, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and start building the yes. deck because I want a deck. We're doing it in eight foot sections, and I'll explain what that means in just a second. But for the most part, he got all of the frame finished last night. We do need to concrete the poles in the ground, but since this was a very last minute thing, we don't have all the supplies, and as you can tell, it's rainy and muddy, so it's not the best day to do concrete. We'll be able to do that as we progress on the deck itself. But yeah, let me show you what he has going on. Hey y'all, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about my go-to and favorite therapy service and one that we have worked with a ton in the past and that is BetterHelp. 
H-E-L-P, help. And thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. You tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help in a wide range of issues. You just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences and BetterHelp will help match you with a therapist within their network. You can even do this through text, phone, video call, whatever you're comfortable with. And you can message your therapist at any time and you can schedule sessions that are convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for whatever reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. BetterHelp gives you the same professionalism that you'd expect from an in-house visit, but at your convenience and is more affordable. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash can't contain us. And all of that is going to be linked in our description. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to it. So we had some extra wood laying around the sawmills, so that's what I used to build all the framing out of. So this is all wood that we harvested off the property and then milled ourselves. So as you can tell by the beautiful color in it, this isn't your normal wood from Lowe's. Well, except for that piece. Yeah, I ran out. So one piece is, is just normal softwood 2x6, but the rest of it's hardwood oak. So we cut everything to nominal lumber sizes. That way we could use these truss hangers that we got from the local hardware store to be able to hang all the trusses and hold them in place tighter. And then like Summer said, we're building in eight foot sections being that we don't have all the materials to build the whole deck at once right now. The house is 40 feet long and then so doing it in eight foot sections will leave us the availability to add a container on at the end and on the front if we end up choosing to. And yes, you heard that right folks, we might add on. So pretty much all we have left on it is adding the actual flooring and then concreting the two posts in. I'm sorry for not showing building the actual framing, but I started doing it really late last night and it was super dark out, so it just wasn't really possible to film it and be able to get clear quality shots. Whenever we build the next eight foot section, we'll definitely show you the whole process. Here's the next dilemma. We're out of nails. Don't know how we're gonna... I guess we're going to the store. Attach and them. I know most people typically use deck screws to be able to attach their boards, but we don't want the visible screws everywhere against the pretty wood, as well as if I use screws on the whole thing, being that it's hardwood, I'd have to drill each individual hole. I'd have to drill a pilot hole before I could put the screw in so I don't risk cracking the wood. So it would be twice as much work. Also being that it's hardwood, it's already a lot stronger than your typical deck would be because most decks are just exterior softwood. So I'm not really worried about having the extra support of the screws as opposed to nails. To sum that up, I think we have to go to the store. Yep. Come on. Come on. I know, I'll let you out when we get back. We are in desperate need of more rocks, so I guess I'm gonna have to order that soon. Go get some clamps. So all of this is rough sawn wood, so it's not 100% perfectly straight. Some of it's warped a little bit as it dries, and 
it starts to try and retain uh, the shape that the tree was originally in so it'll it'll kind of curve and stuff like that go ahead and take our circular saw and i've clamped a two by four down to use as kind of like a fence and we're going to run our circular saw right down the edge of it to be able to give it a nice clean edge he used a router so this is kind of a rough sketch i guess you would say of what it's going to look like versus what a majority of the boards currently look like I personally like the rough look, but it will leave some holes and a little bit of gaps within the deck if we leave it like that, so this is the better option. We could be using a table saw, but ours isn't really in the best working condition. Summer ran it over with a tractor a year ago, and we haven't bought a new one. Thanks, babe. I'm gonna let the sun shine and the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm cutting it so we leave about a one inch overhang off each side of the deck. The darkness starts to fade, feels like things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. He flipped it over and is just double checking all of his markings. Let the past be filled with smoke. And I will try to fix what has been broken. Yay, one down and so oh, many no, to go. Oh, 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 you still got to do the router. Yep. So now that we have our first board cut down to size, so now it's a three quarter by six by eight feet long. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run our router over the edges to give it a nice clean look and it'll be done. Now there's one done. She was literally just making direct eye contact and howling. <laughs> That's so funny. And now you have experienced your very first howling party. Pretty sturdy. Now we're gonna do that exact same thing 15 more times. Well, no. Yeah, 15 more times.
Alrighty, well it's about that time, which is dinner time. Cody is still outside working. He's made quite the progress, but there's still a ton more to do, so he's gonna keep knocking it out until he's good and tired. And I'm going to start on dinner. So, I'm gonna be making gumbo. I've never made gumbo before. Our friends over at Cajun Country Living just posted an entire gumbo video, so go check that out. It has me feeling inspired. I kind of scrounged together what we had, so it's not gonna be exactly like theirs, but I figured I'd give it a shot. But before we get started, somebody sent us this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, enameled cast iron crock pot off our Amazon wish list, but it didn't come with a note or anything, so I don't know who it came from, so I don't know who to properly thank. I absolutely love it. I've been using it every single day, and I would love to send you a thank you note, so please reach out. I've never made gumbo before, so don't hate on me too, too much. And if you wanna know how to actually make it, head on over to their channel and they go in depth, step by step. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is just brown up some sausage. While my sausage is cooking, let's start prepping the veg. veggies but my sausage is pretty much all browned up so now I'm gonna add my chicken and let that cook all up I'm gonna add my seasonings, give it a good mix, and then I'm gonna pop it on over to a different bowl so I can start on my roux. I'm gonna let this butter kind of melt on the side while I scrape up these brown bits. With my butter fully melted, I'm gonna start adding in my flour and you don't need too much. Now that my roux is just about done, I'm gonna start adding in my veg. And I'll add the other half a little bit later on in the process. This takes a good while to cook down. You're gonna be standing over the stove for a hot minute. But once it's cooked down to about this or a little darker, but I'm pretty impatient and we're hungry, you're gonna add back your meat. The rest of your veg, I'm also doing celery. And I don't have shrimp, but a majority of people do shrimp. Add in some chicken broth. Put it on a low simmer, cover it, and just let it sit. We have our gumbo here, which is done, and then I just made a side of rice. Hmm. Yum. Okay, let's plate it. I don't know if this is authentic anyway. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if people are going to be like, what did you even just make in the comments? I don't know, but we're gonna try it. And I think it's, I think it's good though. I don't know, what do you think? Would Lydia and Jim be proud? I guess we'll see. What you doing? Making cookies.
Oh, hey. How's it going? Enjoying my cookie. So these first six boards are the only ones that I got completely finished. I do still have to nail these two middle ones in place, but the 2x4 temporary support post behind me is in the way, so they're just kind of sitting there for now. I have four more boards ready to mill down into the right size, so I'm going to start that first thing in the morning, but I still need to cut probably four or five more pieces on the sawmill, so we're going to have to do that tomorrow as well. So yeah, we pretty much ran out of ran out of wood and ran out of light for the night, so we just went ahead and decided to call it, but pretty happy with the progress so far. Sorry today's video is a little bit short. We weren't really expecting rain, or I guess we kind of were, but we just didn't really like. Oh, I wasn't. I didn't look at the. Oh, well, I, I kind of knew. I didn't look at the weather was... at all. I didn't even know it was going to rain. I kind of knew it was going to rain, but I didn't. I don't know. I just I didn't process. On working, I planned on working on the sawmill when I got up this morning. Rain kind of put a damper on things, but that's okay. We tried to make the best of it. And I figure since it is a short video, we could answer questions because we haven't done that so long. So mm. let me get my phone. And even for rain, we still got a lot done. And just to clarify really quick, we are going to still enclose underneath the containers and we're going to keep adding on the eight foot sections of deck. That's not the only part of the deck that we're going to be working on. It's going to be all decked out. If we're using the sawmill a lot more. We definitely got to put some upgrades into it too to make it a little uh, faster to use. Yeah. Beach Life says, awesome job, like always. How warm is inside with the fire going? Just asking. Let me check. <laughs> it's about 73 right now. So your average house. Yeah, so not bad in the house right now. Summer said it's about 73. Last night it was um, like 80. It was super hot. I was sweating whenever we went to bed. Yeah, we've noticed, uh, I guess kind of like most things, keeping temperatures easy, but bringing temperature up is what can be difficult. So if we let the house get cold, then it can take a while to heat it back up. But if we keep it warm, it's relatively easy to keep it warm. So yeah, we typically start a big fire before bed, and then we'll start a big fire in the morning, and that'll last us throughout the day. We'll just have to keep adding wood every now and then every now and then. Mike Elliott says, love the continued updates, thanks. How is your internet working out? Have you changed the roof mounts? So our internet works pretty well, I'd say. I still have a little bit of an issue uploading, so if I need to upload something fairly quickly, then I'll have to like go into town. But for the most part, we don't really have internet issues at all. Yeah, I've noticed uh, over the last couple months it's progressively gotten a little bit better um, as the time's gone on. I'm assuming probably because they keep launching more satellites. If you don't know, um, we have Starlink. And we're also still technically out of service area, so that's why we do have a little bit of issues sometimes with it. Um, but once we're cleared in the service area, then it should be perfectly fine. But uh, yeah, it's been working out great. In terms of the mounts, I'm not 100% sure what you're talking about. If you're talking about how we mounted the Starlink to the house, we put it on a pole and rod, but it's actually going to end up having to, we're going we're to end up moving it and changing it. Yeah, we haven't done a video too. on it yet because it's not permanent. We just kind of have it on a flagpole right now. Um, but once I decide exactly where I want it to be at permanently, then we'll go ahead and do a video on it. But I've been kind of trying to see the best spot for it when there is leaves on the tree and when there isn't leaves on the tree because both affect uh, how the signal is, so. We haven't even had a full year out here yet, so we are still trying to figure everything out as each season comes and goes, so but yeah. Alrighty, next video is going to be jam-packed with content. So sorry about this week, and yeah. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. What do you think? Are you going to try it? No, not today. They said that's a big no from me. That is a big no. Don't you understand that we only give one life? I wanna make.